Today, boys and girls, we're going to be taking a look at the new Desire Mad Dog GTA. I can't do a Mad Dog. I'm too happy to do a Mad Dog. But the Mad Dog GTA, it's if the SMM mated with the Faro RTA. I'm going to quit jibber jabbering and we're going to dive down, show you this Mamba Jamba up close and personal. We're going to go over the pros and the cons and the close ups. Then I'll come back, vape on this chug of lucker, and then I'll let you know if I lost this Mamba Jamba today. What I got tomorrow? Buy one. Yeah, man. So here's the pretty busy box that this Desire Mad Dog GTA comes in. And inside the packaging, of course, you're going to receive your Mad Dog Desire GTA. It comes with this extra glass tube, a baggie of extra O-rings, two clamps, and two flathead screws. It comes with a pre-built fuse Clapton coil. And holy mackerel, this sucker also comes with this giant, I mean a monstrous fuse Clapton coil. Now, both pre-built coils, the wraps are made of Nichrome 80, and the cores are made of Canthal. But look at this thing. Would you look at it? Ginormous. I mean, look at the size of the freaking leads. What? And of course, last but not least, since it comes with pre-built Clapton, and coils it also comes with this organic cotton so this mad dog gta comes in a multitude of colors black as you guys can see comes in silver you could choose blue green they got a burgundy option and gold and as you guys can see all color options have this matte finish every single one of them that i just showed you she's primarily made of stainless steel 25 millimeter in width and about 43 millimeter in length she's got a protruding gold plated 510 pin threads are nice and smooth it says mad dog and then it says designed by desire at the top this sucker comes with an ultimate chef cap and and this is also the top fill cap as well. So yeah, you got your big fill ports right here on each side. You can pour your juice in, you can squeeze your juice in, and this sucker holds 3.5 mils of e-liquid. And when you're done filling her up, you just screw this bad boy on there. Easy peasy, what a sleazy. Now down here at the base, it's got dual bottom adjustable airflow. You grab a hold of the ring and it does click into place. Perfect amount of restrictiveness in my opinion. Base unscrews from the tank section and here is the deck. Now this is like a Faroish type of deck, but like I said, GTA style because the deck, it just floats over the base section. So you got your juice that sits underneath. You got your juice that sits above it. You're gonna have airflow that hits underneath the coil and then airflow that hits on the side of the coil. And as you guys can see, it uses monstrous Phillips head screws. You got your clamps and the clamps are not spring loaded. But that side airflow that's gonna hit both sides of the coil, it splits it. The screws on each side split that airflow. So like I said, Faro stylish where you got your airflow that hits underneath it and then kind of like SMM stylish because you have that airflow that hits on the side of each coil. And here are your wick ports on each side, giant wick ports, guys. You can stuff tons of cotton in there. This thing is meant for your big, big, big bills. And you can pop your smaller bills in there too. So I turn this sucker upside down and install my coils, and then I turn each clamp, just like so. And then I can easily install my coils. Not having spring-loaded clamps does not bother me with this device. Turn it upside down. Boom, and then tighten down my leads. Make sure the coil is centered. Drop that coil. So about right there is where I like the big old fuse claps that they include. All this is going to be subjective. You could drop yours lower. You can keep it higher. Again, all subjective. But I like mine right there because those slots, those side slots are kind of angled upward. And I find I get the best flavor with this exact coil. Next step, we got to clip those leads. Get it glowing from the inside out. Ooh, yeah, that's the way we want it. Pop some wick in there. And I like mine to be nice and tight. Nice and tight with this coil and I'm gonna clip each tail wick about right there where my nail is. About like that. Next step, all I'm gonna do is tuck each cotton tail into these slots down here. And you wanna make sure you're filling up those slots on both sides, they gotta be completely full, in my experiences. And that's the way I like it. Now, before I wake this thing up and fill her up, I wanna show you the rest of this device. Here's the inside of the chamber. It's got a nice conical thing going on and the tank, it comes out like so. And I will state that these O-rings, they could be beefier. I have not had any leaking issues with this. Not the way that I've been using it, but the O-rings could be beefier. The build quality for this is great. The finishes on all the devices, different colors are great. Very important to back out those threads till it catches because those threads are plastic. 
Make sure everything is nice and tight and we're rocking and rolling. First con, this is not 510 drip tip compatible and this is not 810 drip tip compatible. So you can't use your Kennedy, your Goon style drip tips and you can't use your preferred 510 drip tips. Second, the threads on this chuff cap are plastic. You could strip those over time if you're not careful. And then the third and last con that I found for this, the O-rings need to be beefier. Again, has it presented a problem for me? Has this thing leaked on me? No. Now onto the pros. Man, do I love the color options. Love the blue, the burgundy, love the gold, love the sea green, like the silver and I even like the black. Black, man color options are good next pro all the tanks have the same finish on here it's like a media blasted or like a matte finish like a matte pearl finish and i am a huge fan i think it looks classy sexy love the fact that this is a 25 millimeter tank huge fan of 24 and 25 millimeter devices it's only 43 millimeter in length i mean that is a pretty short 25 millimeter tank guys just a good looking tank big fan of the engravings too Airflow, you get tons of airflow with this device. It doesn't look like that just from the eye because the slots aren't like massive like most other tanks out there, but because you have that side airflow and the bottom airflow, for your single coil builds, you can get a buku of it. Buku airflow. And the airflow is smooth, hear it. <laughs> it is loud, but it's smooth. You know, I'm a big fan of this Ultim Chuff Cap. I think it's super comfortable. It's not short stubby. It's just the perfect amount of size and it's the perfect amount of roundness. Like I showed you before, the top fill, easy peasy. I mean, you could pour your juice in there, you could squeeze it up. It it holds 3.5 mils of juice and that may not be a lot for some of you guys but because the top fill is so easy i can't knock it next pro the bottom adjustable airflow like i showed you guys before i love how it clicks into place and it's the perfect amount of restrictiveness and it stops in one direction and stops in the other. Like I mentioned before, the build deck, such a sense to build on. It's so easy to wick, so easy to build. Every build that I pop in here, I get a solid connection. Like with the Ferro RTA, I'm just a big fan of the clamp style systems. And the wicking, God, look how big those wick ports are. It's so easy to wick this thing. And I like the side airflow. I like how it's split by those screws. Super smooth. Look how they're angled up. And because it's floating off the deck GTA style, I think it's that much better. For wicking, love the fact it comes with these monstrous Phillips head screws. Like how it comes with extra big old flathead screws. Oh yeah, another subjective con that I did not mention. This thing is not meant for you dual cooler. So if you're a dual cooler, this is definitely going to be a con to you. But if you're a single cooler, it's a definite pro because this is made for the single cooler. So what I had to do was I had to switch over to the burgundy because my freaking wife, she stole the black one. She said, oh my God, this is vaping too good. I gotta got, I got keep it. So I let her have it. And I popped the same coil that I showed you guys in the close-ups, wicked her the exact same. She's reading at 0.11 ohms. I'm vaping her only at 70 watts, guys. Got her sitting on this vape life, the Tug Life DNA 250. All these freaking products, all these names. I get confused. I get so confused. But yeah, I'm vaping her at 70 watts, 0.11 ohm built. Got the airflow wide open. You know the drill. the flavor the flavor the flavor it's so good it's so good is it as good as something like the troll rta is it as good as the smm yes in my opinion you get different airflow you get a lot more airflow with this now if i close off the airflow and i didn't mention this in the close-ups but if i close off the airflow it does get a little bit whistly it's still smooth but here it is halfway open and if i close it off a little bit more still loud but it's still smooth as a porn star's ass <laughs> so i'm gonna take her wide open because this is the way i like it again 70 watts the airflow man the air i love the airflow so good for a single core rta and you get a buku airflow and you close it off i'll go ahead and close it off just for you guys close it off pretty much a quarter of the way open God almighty, the flavor just jumped. It just jumped. I get excited for products that are just that produce such good flavor. I'm such a flavor chasing hog. And I gotta have my airflow. And that's what this gives me. I'm gonna go ahead and save you the time and say I would buy this. I've been enjoying it that much. It's just one of those things where I receive something from a no-name company and then I'm like, oh God, what is this? And you know, now and then I pop a build in there. And I'm like, wow, this is good. <laughs> and then I vape it for a week and I'm like, I'm still liking this. And then my wife freaking steals my stuff and then she's liking it. That's when you know a device is good. That's when you know a device gives you a quality vape now like i said there are cons it's not a perfect device by any means but the vape quality is damn good hell yeah i'd buy it yeah man that's right i'm giving away four of these tanks the blue one the green one the silver one and the gold one and in order to participate what you got to do is you got to be a loyal youtube subscriber of mine so if you are not subscribed to this channel subscribe today and the second thing you got to do is you got to comment down in the comment section either your instagram or your email one of those will work and in about a week from now i'm going to pick four lucky random winners contact them and i'm going to post those winners i'm going to pin the post 
post in the comments section of this video. That way you guys can see who won it. But I'm going to contact those four lucky random winners, get their mailing addresses, and get these bad boys out to them. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, liked it, found it entertaining and helpful. If you did like this video, well then like it down below. And if you want to see more of me, subscribe for more. This is Rip Trippers, and remember, smoking is dead, vaping is the future, and the future is now.